Some of the year's competing athletes defy age norms. Australian equestrian and grandmother Mary Hannah is proving that age is just a number. She's 66, you guys. She's a grandma, and this is her seventh time participating in the games. Look at her. But get this, the youngest person competing in Tokyo is Syrian table tennis player Hen Zaza. She's just 12 years old. And I know we don't have the picture of Amanda Beard, but I was hoping we could have it. Because if you remember in 96, and I described the picture because then you'll remember. She was like 13, maybe 14, but had just turned 14. But you remember she was carrying around her teddy bear everywhere? She was a swimmer, so of course I know her. But that juxtaposition, because the pressure of the world stage at 12 or 13, and then you see an Olympian carrying around her teddy bear, that's what it reminded me of. But at 12, what were you doing at 12? Not going to the Olympics, I'll tell you. <laughs> Not even close, but yeah, it's, I think if you grow up in that atmosphere or grow up with parents like that and you, you get that, you get to see the next level of competition, it really has an impact on you and obviously it does. And if you start young, right? Yeah. I think I would have handled a lot, th or a lot of things far better at 12 than I do at 40. Oh, really? Yeah, I was like, I was a very fearless child. Mm. You know, like I would just do things. People were like, okay, just let her do it. Because you don't understand yeah. ramifications I kind of, of things. You. So it's like, you know, ignorance is bliss in that respect. And I mean that very respectfully. Yeah, I just remember at 12, I had no concept of boys and girls at that point. I was just becoming into it. So I had the asymmetrical haircut, the sports goggles, and the double retainer. And life was just like, cool. <laughs> like, I just enjoyed, really. What I had no concept hobbies? of. What was Tori's hobbies? I, I like to play um, make-believe. I like to do a lot of um, uh, uh, bi bicycle riding. And a lot of we would make potions and things. That's really cool, potions. Because we didn't have phones. I'm talking this is an analog kid's life. You play in the dirt, you, you go out till the street lights come on. What, what? I know, it sounds like a very exciting childhood. <laughs> Thank you. Can we have a picture? <laughs> Can we have a picture of you should, Tori? You should write a book. <laughs> Well, I think growing up without any um, expectations technology. on you and, oh. and technology makes for a really fearless kid childhood. You didn't have to worry. It was lovely. I'll just push back a little bit, even though I agree that at 12, it may be ignorance is bliss. But at the same time, we heard Summer Sanders say, you got to be in the zone. You can be in the best shape of your life. If you go there and you're not mentally stable enough to, to, to picture yourself on the podium, you'll freeze up no matter what shape you're in. So I pray that this 12-year-old is like a little Erica Cobb <laughs> yeah. and kills it and takes home a gold. Yeah. <laughs>